Today we're gonna pack this giant book for shipping. I'm just gathering some stuff here, some tape, some newspaper, some other wrapping paper, a scale. Yeah, and a box, obviously, to put the large book in. We'll start off with a layer of wrapping paper and then add another one just to be certain. You can just wrap it like a present, folding in each side of the, the book. Then I checked to see if I thought that the um, edges would hold and realized that we'd probably want yet another layer. So then I went ahead and did a third layer of wrapping paper. Let's see if the box fits. Accidentally dropped my phone here. Back on the cushion. Okay, so the box, uh, it's a bit bigger than the book. So we'll need to fill it up with something in order for it it not to bounce around while shipping. Since there was quite a lot of room in the box, I suggest using cardboard because we know that it will hold for sure. I seriously need to get one of those machines for my tape roll because I'm always trying to find the edge of the tape. I realized that this cardboard was actually perfect for this book because it already had some edges in it so I could just fold it in as you see that I'm doing here. And while doing so I also broke a nail. Boohoo. Let's make sure that the cardboard is in place by using a lot of tape. Once you're done with one of the sides, then just add the other side. And Here I just speed up the video because I'm doing place the Place the book thing. inside the box and see how much room is left. The last step will be to add newspaper to really fill up anything that it could have the book moving around because we don't want that. I usually make like a shake test where I just shake up the box to see if the book is still moving. If it's not, then it's all good. Make sure the whole box is covered. Then we can just tape everything. Tape the edges, the back and the front. And we're done. Look at that beautiful box. 